As bass anglers, it's not a surprise. We want to put our lures in places where others are not, and that's what we're talking about today. If you've been bass fishing a while, you definitely have heard about skipping jigs, and it's a great, great presentation. But if you're kind of new to this particular presentation, it can be super frustrating, and then you give up. And then as a result, you may not be getting some of the bites that you could by skipping lures. So I'm going to talk about the four best lures that I feel are out there for skipping. Now, there's a couple reasons that skipping skipping lures is so good. One, like I mentioned a little bit ago, is most anglers are not going to put lures in these places. It's very intimidating to go ahead and skip a lure up underneath a dock or some overhanging brush. You can get a backlash, get your bait stuck, and it just really takes time. It's very easy just to hit the outsides of a piece of cover and then just move on down the shoreline. Well, I really want you to be the most successful angler you can be, so that's why we're going to talk about lures that are easy to skip so you can build confidence. Now I do have a video that goes into great depth about skipping jigs. I'll link it at the end of this one and also down in the description below so you can check that one out. Okay, my number one lure for learning how to skip and gaining confidence has got to be a hollow bodied frog. First reason is this is a floating lure. It's not going to grab the surface of the water and want to dig down and give you that horrid backlash. It's going to stay up on top and a hollow body frog can also skip a really long ways. It's a lot like when you find that perfect stone when you're a kid and you skip it and you can shoot that thing three or four feet per hop. This can do the exact same thing. Now I would make sure that you go ahead and trim the legs up a little bit, make it slightly more compact. I have better luck with it that way. And we also need to kind of change our mindset of where we would fish a frog. We often think about it in thick emergent vegetation and yep, it's perfect for that. But this is also a great lure to put under those docks and overhanging limbs and brush. Frogs are in all types of water and depending on the color pattern, you could be mimicking bluegills or other types of forage. So this is an easy one to skip. You can skip it a long distance, get way up underneath a dock or an overhanging tree. And it's probably got the smallest learning curve if you're new to skipping. So that's number one for sure. My number two lure for learning how to skip and gaining confidence has got to be a tube jig. When you take a look at the design of a tube jig, that just screams skipping across the water. Just like the hollow body frog, you can skip it a long ways. Now as far as rigging though, I do prefer the insert tube head. It's much easier to keep the weight and the lure together than have a normal worm weight on there that could slide, get wrapped around around something and, and cause all kinds of issues. Yes, of course you can skip Texas rigs, but as far as ease of learning, the insert tube head is definitely a great choice. Now it does have an exposed hook on it and sometimes that can get hung on stuff. So I like to smash the barb down if I'm not tournament fishing. And then if I get it stuck on a limb or something, it's more apt to come off than if it gets buried up past that barb. But a tube jig skips a long ways. It's easy easy to skip and I would start off with probably at least a quarter ounce insert tube weight, maybe even a half ounce to help eliminate some of those backlashes. The other nice thing about skipping a tube is that once the lure rests come to a stop, it's going to have that real enticing spiraling action, which can be so deadly when it mimics a bait fish that's kind of dying and just falling through the water column. My number three lure for skipping, especially if you're learning how, is a soft jerk bait. Now, not just any soft jerk bait, I prefer the, the straight tail and also one that is salt impregnated. One that doesn't have the salt just on the outside, but has the salt in it. If you pull it apart, you can see the granules of salt in there. How come? Because it adds weight to the presentation and to skip this most effectively, I prefer to skip it weightless. 
And then the other reason I like it weightless is just like with the tube, once it comes to a rest, it's gonna have that real enticing, dying bait fish type of an action. So look for a straight tail soft jerk bait, one that is salt impregnated, and it's amazing how dense and bulky these are, and they can really cast a long ways, which makes them very easy to skip as well. And my fourth lure for skipping is, of course, a skipping jig. Now, out of the four we mentioned, this one I feel has the most difficult learning curve because of its weight, it wants to dig into the surface of the water and then can stop abruptly, which is gonna cause that dreaded backlash. But once you get to the point where you're confident that you can skip jigs or wanna give it a try, I would find one that has some flat sides on the jig head. I just have better luck with that. I would also, on your trailer, as you can see with this one here, I cut it basically in half to make it more compact. I didn't want the append way out there so they would grab onto a limb or you know a dock piling or whatever and then slow down the presentation um, if you're just getting started with it I highly recommend the half ounce size much easier to skip I skip a lot of quarter ounce jigs but if you're just starting out with this presentation a half ounce by far and away is easier to learn and to master and just like with the tube jig if i'm not tournament fishing i prefer to smash the barb down on there because sometimes when you shoot way up underneath a dock it might get hung on something and without the barb it's a little bit easier to retrieve that lure and get it back now like i mentioned earlier if you want to watch a video on skipping jigs that goes into great detail on the reels the rod the presentation the cast all that type of stuff go ahead and check this one out here i think that you will find it informative and hey don't forget to go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers